This is chaos, isn't it? <laughs> Don't you think? Yeah, but the, the Christmas <laughs> chaos that everybody talks but about. But the note said chaos without disrupting people too much. Who wrote that? <laughs> I wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go straight into this bad boy. Okay. Welcome back, Team Millers. I'm Mark from Team Mill, and this is a uh, rather chaotic high speed video to get you hyped and excited and make the most out of Christmas. I'm joined with super secret snazzy Santa Elsa here. <laughs> And we're going to give you 12 tips and data points to make sure that you make this Christmas as good and even better than at least last Christmas. That's the kind of data that I'm interested in. <laughs> we're going to tour around 12 randomly selected locations within the Timor factory to give you uh, these 12 Timor steps of Christmas. Yeah, and a little bit of a tour at the same time. Merry so Christmas. So let's go. Magic Melf time, three, two, one. <laughs> Number one, Christmas is the one time of year that people are looking to buy stuff, so you don't really have to be subtle about it. Just sell to them. That's perhaps why we see conversion rates that are like four times higher than the rest of the year. That's like every day being worth a hundred hours, or the whole 12 days of Christmas being um, 48, 48 days. days long. What would you do if a day so, was a hundred hours long? I would go to drive, get pictures <laughs> of my products, put them online and give them to people as gift ideas. The best way you can help them is to sell to them. <laughs> Tip two. Christmas is not just like a day or like uh, a couple weeks. It's a whole season that lasts months. Yeah, it lasts ages and we actually see more sales on Boxing Day than the 20 days leading up to Christmas. So you've got to make sure you're doing stuff afterwards as well and all the way into January. It's so easy to kind of give up on like the 19th, isn't it? But people still want to buy their shopping on Boxing Day. In the gap as well between Boxing Day and New Year's, a little bit of a two me from me on the sofa. Oh yeah. Tactics then? So, what you want to do is schedule it all in now. Get all of your marketing ready, make sure that it's ready to go so that you can actually relax with your family and chill out on Christmas. Download some stuff some, from Drive, schedule some mails, make sure they go out on Boxing Day, day after, all through into January, so you come back to a massive bonanza of Christmas. Something that rhymes with the B. Oh my God, what? What does rhyme with B? <laughs> Tip three. three, go full festive, just like I have, not like Mark, <laughs> just like me. Go festive on your website, on your socials, across your photography, because people are coming to find Christmas presents, so they want to see the Christmas spirit. There's a reason that high street shops make their windows look so Christmassy. We're talking emojis, we're talking gift guides, I'm talking... Digital tinsel on your store. Yeah, just, and <laughs> that just completely blew my mind. I was just sat there, I took that literally and I was like, what is that technology? <laughs> Do that. Um, really good tactic as well, building up bundles like gift bundles to kind of show people this would be how a good uh, bunch of products would go together. Let them kind of imagine how it would come out of the bag. And if you want to get great business results, treat your business like a real business. Grab some samples, take some photos, put it on social media, make it real. Now, time for the next tip, tip four. Oh, I did three. <laughs> I did. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and get. Tip four, create landing pages. Those gift guides, turn them into a blog, turn them into a page that you can link to that people can go to specifically for Christmas. Dedicated gift buying pages for the top 10 Timor stores. Eight out of 10 of them, it was their most visited page during last Christmas season. Clearly it works, they're doing something right. Yeah. Time for tip five. <laughs> That's 10, <laughs> is use your socials. You might already be posting on socials, but to make the most of it, you have to integrate with your team or store. So use your plugins to make sure that you're on there. People that are using Facebook Shop are seeing 25% more traffic to their store and 20% more revenue. Those are incredible numbers. It's not just for Facebook. People who've integrated YouTube Merch Shelf are seeing traffic 20% higher in revenue, 15% higher. So get yourself over to the plugins, explore the technology, and integrate with your socials properly. It's really easy to do, and it's really worthwhile. <laughs> Tip six. <laughs> Speaking of technology, We've actually built quite a lot, and we're in the engineering room now, which is why we've got to be quite quiet, because everybody get annoyed if we're really loud. But there's some great technology built into T-Mail that's really useful at Christmas. 
and one of the most important ones is T-Mail, which is your email marketing tool. Now, T-Mail, people that use it see up to £36 order value through their emails and 28% revenue for the top stores comes from their T-Mails. So you really want to be using that and optimizing it to make sure you get the most out of it. You've built up this massive mailing list throughout the year, this is the time to use it. Send some T-Mails, make some noise. <laughs> <laughs> and just gauge your clicks and your unsub rates to see what people like. Send people what they want, when they need it. Now's the time to do it. And don't forget to schedule things all the way through past Christmas into Boxing Day into January so that you can rest easy. Tip number seven. seven. I was going to say I got it right that time, but I didn't. <laughs> We're in the photo studio talking about original photography, the single biggest factor affecting conversion rates on Tmall stores. Of the top 50 stores, every single one has original photography. And it's not really a surprise, is it? Because people don't just value quality, they want authenticity when they buy their Christmas gifts. They want to know that they're buying from real people and real brands, and it's really going to arrive. Equipment you need, apart from some samples? A phone? A phone will do it. You don't need a posh camera, actually. You could probably film this on a phone. Yeah, it would have probably been easier. <laughs> so, grab, head to Sample Store, grab yourself some samples. Get a phone, take some photos. It's the best investment you can make in your business. Okay, so the next is sustainability. Okay. Do you want to do it properly or do you want to do it half assed? <laughs> what is properly? Why are we on a roof in the dark? Because for tip number eight, we're talking about sustainability and we're looking at our solar panels. Solar panels are super important. 53% of some cohort that you mentioned to me earlier <laughs> really, really care about this. I personally think it should be 100. But if you care about sustainability and you're part of Team Milk, you're part of that sustainability story. Our factory is powered by renewable energy. We use organic and natural materials and every product we make is designed from start to come back and be remade when it's worn out. And that is a story your customers should be interested in. So head into Tmail, into Drive, into blogs and tutorials, see all that information. You can use that in your marketing and make sure you're sharing with people how sustainable your store is. It's not just a product you can sell, but a story you can tell. Good luck with it and make sure you tell people just how sustainable your products are this Christmas. <laughs> we have to I don't know. somehow. Tip number nine is just to ask. Go into support and then chats where pro users can talk to everyone else that has a Tmail store, including us, the team, and find out what people are planning for Christmas, their campaigns, their marketing tips, anything you want to know. It's one of the most powerful features of Tmail, isn't it? That you get to speak to experts and other store operators, find out what's working and what's not, share your ideas, get some feedback. I'm in there at Mark. I'm in there at Sophia. And we've got all of our amazing support in elves in there as well. You can ask us anything. Anything? Anything. 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 Time for the next transition. <laughs> Tip number 10, personalization. Uh, so Tmail has a personalization plugin, the studio plugin. You go into plugins, you turn it on. It enables your visitors to personalize or even design their own t-shirts and products on your website. A really exciting feature this time of year. Yeah, we've seen up to 40% conversion rates on those pages for stores, and that rises over 300% across the festive season. And I saw a stat earlier, 85% of shoppers say they're actively looking for personalization in their gift buying. It's really important to them. So this is something you can do to turn on in your store, give your customers at Christmas a product that they're really looking for, that the people they're buying for are gonna love. Try Studio via plugins today. Are you going to do the pop? Am I trying? Have no. Go. Just have a go. Rubbish. <laughs> pop. Tip number 11 is SEO. What does the O stand for? Oh my God, this is such a great idea this time of year. Because with more than 30% of all shopping being done online, that means people finding gifts are searching for them in search engines. Search engine optimization gives you an opportunity to put yourself, your brand, and your products in front of a torrent of motivated shoppers. And we've seen one of the charities we work with getting over 52% more traffic every day after they did their search engine optimization. So all you need to do is head over to T-Rank and you'll find everything you need. T-Rank is a tool for pro users accessible via marketing and it contains lots of information, both search data, what people are looking for, and also tips and tricks about how to turn that information into content like products, collections, and landing pages in a way that is optimized for Google. Next up, the top of Google. Tip number 12 is about what this is all about. Christmas is not just about giving gifts, but it's about getting together with the people you care about. 
And if you care about people, you care about the environment they live in as well. That's why the way our products are designed is so important to us. And we've enabled the Remill plugin on Timor stores, which means that you can participate in our incentivized material recovery program. Inside every product we make, there's a QR code that your customers can scan so when it's worn out, they can send it back to us. And we'll make new products from the material we recover. Make sure you share this story with your customers and help keep good material flowing and in use. That's it. Cool. Do you think we need an outro? Mm, you try a pop. <laughs> try it. <Yeah. laughs> I didn't work. Can you not do it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. I can, I can barely whistle. I'm amazed you got through the Timor <laughs> interview. Tip two. Oh no, I'm, I can't do it like that. Let's try again. <laughs>